Seen elections do wind down. We're starting to get some reaction this morning from prominent Iowans as well. Republican leader Matt Strawn and prominent Democrat Tom Henderson agree it was a good night for both parties here in the state. A great night for Democrats. And it's kind of interesting it, being the year of the women. Iowa had a number of excellent women candidates who carried the day for us. Cindy Axney led the ticket in a lot of respects for a great gain for us here in the third district. Fred Hubble has nothing to be ashamed of. He ran a great race. But we have a net gain statewide too with Rob Sand. We have one more statewide official in there. We picked up several seats in the House led by four wonderful women candidates here in Polk County. So that's again something to be proud of and something to build on. So the Iowa Democrats should not hang their heads. We got 2020 coming up and it's going to be an even better year. So we have to continue to look forward. Whew. Uh, we can exhale. Uh, long night for Republicans. Good night for Republicans. Uh, elected uh, officially the first female governor in our state's history, retained majorities, uh, grew majorities in the Iowa Senate, uh, maintained a hard-fought majority in the Iowa House. Uh, so I think it's validation of the job that Iowans are doing at the state level, keeping Iowa moving forward, an economy that's growing and creating jobs. So I'm encouraged that we're going to continue to have that kind of leadership. Uh, of course, you never get everything you want in an election. Uh, you know, disappointed with what happened at the federal level. Uh, David Young has been an incredible representative of all, all islands in the 3rd District.